Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to do something different. These days you already have heard how AI is taking over the art world. But let me give you a little insight to what I think. Yes, I agree that it is taking over. But true and real artists should not worry. You know why? Because I believe AI can take over your skill, which is good. You have someone to do your tiring tasks. But beauty, all the real artist knows, lies in the idea. This is one thing AI cannot do. So all the original artists who used to scroll pages and pages of bullshit, welcome back. I haven't done this before. Even working on this material is my first time, so bear with me. Let's learn together. So let's start this work with a very old picture of mine, when I had only passion and had no skill. So thought this picture I would like to apologize to my sister. I know, I never said this out loud, but I will take few seconds of the video to say this. I'm really sorry. I know, in our childhood, I have done many wrong to you. Things were not fair. I realize I should have stepped up then. I regret I did not. I know, thousands of times you took my burden of tasks so that I can do what I really wanted to do. But now I'm too far to change things. But at this point of life, someone told me, if you want something good to happen to them, your loved ones living really far away, then you do it for the people around you and let karma show its magic. So I try to find sisters and friends and people around me so that I can do something good for them. In thinking, then maybe God will find a vasila for you. So while I paint this, I want to thank for all the support you gave me for the little success I have right now. I wish I could change few things. Though I could have photoshopped this image and it could have been easier, but I'm trying my best to mix a color that is related to the background and remove from all the memories where I have used you as a prop. Here I am using oil paint and I realized because it is very wet and as I explained it before in the previous video that oil paint does not dry quickly. I think I need to bring in more of the tones so that the dark color beneath it disappears. This medium is something different. This is not a canvas material which holds the paint. It's a bit glossy. It's a photograph image. So the paint is going here and there and I'm trying my best to control it. But let me tell you, there is a lot of fun in mixing color too. I get to know more about them. So keep on watching this video. Further, there are more pictures that I have edited using only paints. So this next work that I'm going to do, I took this picture when I was thinking of how very skilled I am now to win a competition. But afterwards, I realized that to win, you need to do hard work, you need to have links, and of course, luck. In this case, I had none. So soon I realized I should put effort where it's actually needed. The sky is always tricky. I end up making light color, but then I realized there is a dark tone to it and a gray shade. So I quickly change and merge it. So this was a very popular masjid near my house. And you know what I'm removing, right? Of course, the wires. In Karachi, if you're going to ask a child what is up in the sky, they won't say stars. They could either see the wires or the crows. So during the editing, if you notice, even in the Photoshop, what we do is we use a pickup tool of the color and then we do the blending technique. So here also I'm going to try to do that because there is a bit of uh, light coming from behind the tomb. So I'm going to make a bit of changes and blend the color with the background so that it disappears. Yeah, the sky is always difficult when it is without the cloud. The cloud sometimes helps to hide whatever wrong you have done. But plain sky is very tough. Let's look at this work of mine. This photography assignment was done between these waves. Karachi Sea has this beauty. It takes all in and gives you back so much. But of course, I cannot forget my crazy friends who were always there to support me during this roller coaster ride of four years and back me up for this 
crazy idea so if i remove you guys from my picture then of course it is empty there see it would be all for nothing i have all the assignments stored with me and whenever i pick up every assignment has a memory behind it So this picture is a bit different because there are variation of grey tones and I have to make sure that one merges with another and yet is differentiated. So I'm trying my best to bring out the background colour. There is more of burnt umber rather than black by the way. I can see that there are a few strokes, I need to bring in shadows and I trying my best to use the tip of my paintbrush so that I don't mess up with the boundaries and the lines. I'm trying to remove and bring in shadows and all the toner variation of the sand. Finally the waves. So I'm just give few white patches on there. Thankfully there is no other thing coming in between so this is easy. Nothing tough. Even you guys can do it. If you pick up any images and you want to remove someone you really don't like, you can remove it very easily. There, see? No memory of it. Okay, now I'm starting to have fun. I realize you can actually omit anyone from the picture. I guess I'll try with this one. Let's try omitting this person who is standing and see how it impacts and changes others' life. Okay, so previously as we noticed that oil paint stays wet and it was very difficult to merge in the color so I used a bit of trick. So you can see the first layer that I'm doing is with acrylic so that it dries quickly. I sometimes think of how fast people leave impact yet unrecognized. I wonder if this guy would matter to anyone. Well, I hear a lot about him. As an example of how he did well and how he grew his work and expanded his business in Multan. But I wonder, does he really matter in our life? In our life story? If not, then why do we talk about him? For me, he is as meaningful as this chair. Is this how we are to other people just like a piece of furniture? How easily I replaced him with this red chair and some old painted wall. So I wonder when do you start fading off? I believe in the fourth generation. Like for example, if I will be the first, then after the second, of course, they will be impact. They will remember me and the third. And I think the fourth generation would not really care who the person was. I think the fourth generation doesn't really care. So do you think we should, we should leave things and think about fourth generation? We should just enjoy this moment and think of this life and then maybe next generation, that's it. Because the fourth generation wouldn't really care, would they? Painting on a photograph is not easy, let me tell you, it's a struggle. I mean bringing in the background colour is also very difficult because the colour that I see on the palette is usually very easy to apply it on the canvas but way difficult on this texture. So I'm trying my best to get along with the tone and I'm changing the color right on the photograph too. I'm adding a bit of white because I feel this is a dark tone and to merge it with the background, I have to bring a bit of white and a light tone. Even while painting red, this red is a bit maroon so I have to add a bit of dark tone in it. It's not scarlet red, it is a bit of burnt sienna, the old red chair i think we all can relate to this chair it's a chair used for every wedding old chairs i'm adding on and detailing off the person who is sitting beside i'm adding a bit of wall detail so that it looks as one picture so in the next one i'm soon going to be using images that is very much related to my life then don't worry, I haven't spoiled any of the archive pictures. I have used pictures which has duplicate images because if you guys know, in past they used to have these reels and negatives and in that um, there sometimes used to be two images clicked and they couldn't do anything about it. Not just like today that we can delete the double the images that are clicked twice. So 
um, I have picked up images which are repeated or there are two copies of it and they are very similar maybe the actions are different but the memories are there so I haven't spoiled that don't worry so you all can see I'm using oil for mixing colors it's easier because it lets you cha make changes on the picture on the spot and as I told you it's very forgiving just like right now uh, I messed up with the chair but I can easily remove it and I'm going to remove the paint so that I can again start up with the fresh color that I really wanted see this can only be done with oil so now thank you everyone for watching these pictures being edited I think I have become a photoshop pro thank Thanks for watching this video and if you like what I've done, leave a comment or press a like button, share it if you like. There are more work that I've done, wait for the next video that is going to be soon uploaded and this is what I've done in that work. If you're looking forward, please leave a comment.